All New Guardians of the Galaxy No. 4 by Jerry Duggan and Aaron Cooter The Collector demands the Guardians admit that it was the Grandmaster that sent them for the egg, but mums the word. That is until Rocket blurts it out. The rest of the team chides him for giving up a client until he blows the Collector's head off. Drax reminds him that you can't kill an elder of the universe, and as he's telling the rest of the team to loot the place, the Collector resurrects behind him, taking his weapon. It begins beeping, and the Guardians scatter as it explodes. As they run to the escape vessel, Star-Lord frees the slaves, who just fire upon them. Rocket climbs into some kind of super death machine and sprays them with bullets, while Drax frees some type of hideous beasts, which finish the job rather graphically. They beam on board the vessel and celebrate their freedom until the Collector strolls through the door nonchalantly. Gamora tackles them back out the door, and they stand among millions of extra bodies the Elder can use. She threatens him, reminding him of Thanos' original purpose for her, and the Collector is excited to feel the fear. They sit for tea and barter. Gamora offers an Infinity Stone in exchange for the one that she seeks. He knows she doesn't have one in her possession, and vice versa for the Collector. They make a deal. A flawless forgery of the egg for the Grandmaster in order to loot the stone he possibly has. Meanwhile, on board the ship, nobody else can figure out what's going on. Drax tells Gamora to share her secrets. Upon hearing this, Rocket goes on a tirade. The conversation continues and Groot lashes out at Rocket, making Rocket basically admonish him. The issue wraps with an astronaut leaving his ship atop an unfamiliar planet. He received a distress signal, and as he walks into a grove, he notices small trees with faces carved into them. The tiny Groot creatures attack, pulling him to the ground and engulfing him. A cloaked being watches from a distance, and with that, we're left to be continued. You know, with every new movie or TV show that is spawned from the House of Ideas, a series gets a relaunch with characters from that film. It's hokey, but it takes a good writer to force-feed an audience with recent overused characters, and Jerry Duggan is the right man for the job. Meticulous storytelling, even highlighting Gamora's backstory more and more, which is refreshing, something Brian Michael Bendis seemed to lack. I like the Collector and Grandmaster, too. The tiny Groot clones are also a nice touch. I don't know where they're going with it, but I can't wait to find out. I give this one an 8 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it spanning several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.blogspot.com or nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages, as well as a link to this very issue for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.